Three horses in Alpine, Arizona were found shot and killed last year. Hundreds have been removed by the U.S. Forest Service for causing problems. So currently we have fewer than 200 alpine wild horses left in the Apache Forest. Wild horse advocates are proposing new legislation to protect horses in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest. Today it's 2023 and there are better ways to control wild horses. If passed, a new bill would ban shooting, killing and sending alpine horses to slaughterhouses. We love wild horses. They're historic. They're beautiful to see. They're great for tourism. And so we really want the public to give these alpine wild horses a voice so that they can be managed humanely. In a statement, the Forest Service says wild horses are protected under the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burrows Act of 1971. But, quote, any horse that is present on the national forest that does not fall within the definition of a wild horse would be considered unauthorized livestock or feral horses. Cattle growers who live in the area also want the horses gone. And they can grub the grasses and, and other forbs down to the dirt. They also fight other animals off of waters. The cattle growers are also concerned about the horse's well-being. They're all bones, skinny, they're dying, and there's nothing anyone's going to do with them. They're not in a management area. We, we don't want them out there. It's not healthy for them. They all need to be removed. Wild horse advocates say the solution isn't to get rid of horses, but to stabilize the population using birth control methods proposed in SB 1057. But the U.S. Forest Service tells us birth control methods aren't a legal option in this case. We're told Forest Service will allow up to five days for someone to claim the horses they remove from the area with proper paperwork before they are put up for public sale. As for the future of the bill, it remains in the Senate. In the newsroom, Christiana Ramos for Arizona Spanish. Christiana, thanks. There is